Ah, cute. Puss, 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 puss. Ah, cute. What a cute cat. I can't have yours. I think I've got this capacity sorted out. That's directly on my balance. It's charging the 23 for 1 5 volts. I've found, just putting the multimeter on this, it told me this was a positive and that was a negative. But that was incorrect because when I charged it, it wasn't working. So I swapped the two around and sure enough, it was getting some charge. But using this sort of method like this, it's taken way too long to charge. 240 volt DC is going to take a million years to charge. So I'll turn it off. Hello, it is the right way, yeah? I got 2.4 volts. So that's a positive, uh, negative there. This is a positive. It's gone, it's actually reformed it a bit now. Because this was showing positive and it's actually the negative. All I need now is a um, high voltage bridge rectifier for my MIT. So I've got to go on eBay and buy a high voltage bridge rectifier. Hopefully we can get this thing uh, reformed. It just takes a million years to charge. So you'll notice this is slightly bigger, this electrode, this uh, standoff. So that's the positive. This is a negative. So I should have done that before because I just had the multimeter on it and relied on the multimeter to tell me which, which one was which. The multimeter told me this was positive, when indeed that was wrong. So this capacitor is depolarized, then, if that's the case. Okay, if you was wrong, I'll give, I've got to get a high voltage bridge rectifier for this, I think. I might, um, if he, I'll get back to the guy at the end of the week, and if he found the other four of these, he's got four more of these that have been a lot better nick than this one. They've been in the shed, so if they're a good nick, I just exchange it, give this in your back and get the other four. Hopefully the other, the other three will be a decent price. Hopefully we can uh, have some fun. Because a uh, YouTube user, Kizmox, from Finland, had four of these hooked up. And although they are made for 13.8 kV, he charged the whole bank of four to 30 kV. And you, sure enough, you bloody completely vaporised the watermelon. It's the voltage, not that it's 21.5 microfarads isn't really much, but at that voltage, it actually has enough to blast through all that bloody juice. Hmm. I'll have to make a cap, uh, capacitor reformer just to reform this a little bit to try and get, keep it in good uh, spirits because this is uh, actually self healing dielectric, the oil inside this. At that rate, should be 2999 before that uh, charges up to full potential. The light bulb was limiting the current too much, in other words, I need a bigger ballast, I think. I need some more current in there, so I'll put that 10 amp column heater on instead of this light bulb and see what happens. It seems we're getting a bit better, though, so hopefully it improves. Okay, viewers, this is my ballast. It's gone up to 167 volts. I turned the power off. 2.6, 2.5, yeah, it doesn't hold a charge very well. I think it's definitely, it definitely needs to be reformed. Hopefully, uh, the, um, uh, the, by doing it, I could greatly lower its e ESR. But then again, this was sitting up right and that was snapped off, so rain and water and dust has gotten inside the top part here, so it would have contaminated the bloody electrolyte, so. Hopefully, the other four are in much, much better condition than this one. You see, that's the bit they filled it up from. That's a fill point, that's just welded shut. Can't hear no bubbling or sizzling though, so that's good. It's taking a while to climb. Yeah, if it's taking this on a charge, I think its ESR might be a bit too high. If, it's had a, if it had a low ESR, I'd be charging pretty much to the full, uh, what was it, what did I say? I was like it was 330 volts DC, so. It's CSR must be buggered, that's all it's getting. So this capacitor might be shagged because it's been contaminated. But I'll let him know at the end of the week and hopefully he'll find the other four or I'll be able to get a replacement. Then we can start these and uh, if I can get the other three for a darn good price, I'll make a bank of four of these, 
charge them with a the rectifier motor and we can start popping batteries instead of using the rotor. Use a lot less energy and be a lot more instantaneous. I might have thrown the whistle and squeal with the amount of voltage these things are going to store and dump into those uh, AA and other types of batteries. Especially the, the Duracell D cells, they should be epic. Yeah, it's taking too long. Okay, viewers, that'll be enough for now, so thanks for watching.